Kids across the world live every day in desperate need of everyday items. But members of a local church congregation are sowing seams of hope. News 10's Sarah Schaefer explains a group in the Wabash Valley helps kids hundreds of miles away. If you open the doors to the first Christian church in Brazil at the right time, you'll immediately hear a sound. Sewing needles hard at work. We might have as many as 19 people sewing on the machines and maybe seven others uh, clipping and turning because in each stage there's something to do. They aren't sewing just any regular fabrics. The group known as Sewing Seams of Hope makes items for underprivileged children all around the world. It's really rough in Haiti um, and in Africa, so this is something we can do. You know, it's just always on our mind. It all started in the year 2000 when the group started making flannel diapers. Now they make dresses and even more. Those go to Haiti, Honduras, several different places in Africa, the Philippines, Mexico. And the items are definitely needed. They're wearing what would be considered trash, like what we wouldn't even donate to uh, a place like Goodwill or some of the, those places. Uh, they might have on pajamas. One little boy has on a bikini bathing suit bottom, and that's what he's wearing. But it's not just a project. Just yeah. plain, plain dream lights. The ladies in this group have sewn their way into each other's hearts. Go ahead, Miss Leah. We do a lot of talking, a lot of laughing, telling stories. These two over here are sisters, and and uh, we've heard lots of the stories from their childhood. And even though we've heard us like, tell us that one again. Yeah. And they don't expect to pat on the back. We do it because it's something we can do, something we can make a difference in the world, and we enjoy it. A possibly life-changing gesture for someone worlds away, right from the hands of a close-knit group in a small Indiana town. In Brazil, with photojournalist Gary Bryan, Sarah Schaefer, News 10. Anyone is welcome to join the sewing group. They're also willing to help you start something similar in your church if you're interested. For contact information, visit our website, WTHITV.com.